Hey fam, Chi Chi here. Welcome back. I know we dive into luxury perfumes, but we never actually talk about whether or not luxury body creams and body lotions are actually worth it. So your girl ended up buying a few very, very popular brands, and I'm just going here, you know, give you the tea and tell you how I feel about it. But if you're new here, hey, I'm Chi Chi, and I talk about all things lavish, but logical. So if that's your sort of thing, go ahead, subscribe, make some friends in the comment section, and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. We're gonna start off with a bang, Baccarat Rouge 540 by MFK. This one is their body lotion. Actually, it's a really, really nice fragrance when you can get it out of the bottle. There we go. It. Well, thank you. It is a pretty nice consistency when you do apply it. And when I'm using most of these creams, I'm not looking for it to necessarily hydrate my skin. This is mainly just a base layer for my fragrance. Of course, this is a nice pairing with the original fragrance. I'm gonna be smelling hella good after this video, but oh, beautiful beautiful pairing it does let Baccarat Rouge last a little bit longer but the main thing that is great about luxury body creams and lotions is that you can get the the same vibe the same smell for way cheaper than purchasing the actual fragrances. My rule of thumb for anyone wanting to purchase the luxury body creams because they can't necessarily afford to purchase the fragrances, I would say go for the creams and then layer the perfume with some sort of dupe alternative that still gives you a similar vibe. So. As far as the actual <laughs> MFK, would I repurchase this again? Yes, only because I like MFK. I like Baccarat Rouge. I don't care how played out people honestly say it is. It, it's a really nice scented body lotion and I still get the Baccarat Rouge vibes without having to, you know, do the most, <laughs> you know? And um, it's a really nice cream. It doesn't feel too greasy you know, too heavy, not, not anything. But does it last as long as the fragrance? No, but if you still want that little, little, little sprinkle of MFK, I really think this is a good buy. And honestly, out of all of the lotions I'm gonna show you, this is one of the least expensive ones. So keep that in mind. Let's talk about the queen, Delina. Obviously, I have both. Out of all the body creams, this one, it smells identical and it has lasting power. I don't know what they put up in their factory to let it have the longevity that it does, but it's just like, what, what are you guys doing up there? It's a beautiful, beautiful cream and you can layer this under any of the Delinas. The nice thing about this one though, the rhubarb note isn't as sharp. So you can kind of get away with, you know, Delina under a lot of fragrances. I know that note is a big deterrent for a lot of people, but this cream feels really, really nice on the skin as well. And you just, you feel a little bit more bougie, a little bit more pink inside when you use this one. And I, I just truly enjoy it. I'm about to go back in with it. She's not stiff and she really feels like nice on the skin. It's just a very enjoyable cream to be honest. And it's just like, oh, okay, Delina. And the fact that she actually lasts on the skin, that's the part I'm like, okay, I see what you did there and I like it. If you're looking for the scent to actually be the same as the fragrance and you want it to last, Delina is the one that I recommend for that because she has holding power, which is really, really nice. And then you could just layer the dupes on top and people will think you'll be smelling like Delina. So take that as you may as we move on to the next one. Moving on to Christian Dior. This is Jasmine D'Ong's. Now I don't have the matching fragrance, so I'm just gonna be pairing it with, you know, my Dior Dior. 
Do. But one thing I felt like Dior had the leg up on packaging is that theirs had this foil piece on top. So the one thing I really, really hate about these body creams is that they have a shelf life. That's the like biggest con. Delina is six months shelf life. Uh, this one is 12 months. Uh, da, 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 where we have? This one is 24 months. And my last one is, she don't even say. She don't even say. Hmm. But you get my drift. But I do appreciate the fact that you do have this foil so you know that your product will be fresh when you open it. I wanted to keep it on here just so you guys can see it. But Christian Dior has beautiful like luxury body creams. I'm not even gonna front. I'm, ugh. to me, like it's a bit wetter. I like the cream aspect of it. The smell, it depends on what fragrance you're, you're using, but I do like to layer that with um, this particular Dior just to bring out that, oh, this is so good for bedtime. But the actual lotion itself, like you see, if you can see the hair on my arm, let me cover my eyes. Like it just looks all wet and stuff. And I don't know if you, you may like that or not, but I do. Like it, it just feels very, like, like you got something. <laughs> It, it just, I just like the feeling of it. My skin feels so soft with this one. One of my favorite body creams because of that softness. Like, Delina is cool, but she thick. Whereas the Dior is a little bit more silky, a little bit more smooth, and just like, okay. Now, fragrance, again, it depends on which fragrance you actually purchase but I think it does a really nice job of making fragrances like just hold on a little bit longer. But is it worth the money? Girl, you gotta make that decision up for yourself. But this one feels really, really nice. And like, you, you see that shine on my, girl, you see that shine, like beautiful. Now my absolute favorite filling body cream hands down goes to bond number nine listen this one is greenwich village i have the fragrance right here does it all the way smell like greenwich village yes it does <laughs> more importantly it's the feel of this one the feeling of this one it's a body silk number one silk absolutely Absolutely. I have nowhere to put this but this one just feels luxurious like I can't even explain to you it's soft but it feels moisturizing it feels like it's getting down into my pores and it's just like oh she, she's she's a little bougie like when I use bond number nine I think of having you know, the beautiful satin or silk robe with the fufu la at the ends and I'm just sitting at my vanity counter oiling up my body. Like, that's how it feels. It absorbs so well into the skin. It's ridiculously priced. I ain't even gonna front. For this particular cream, the fragrance does not last. It's great to layer with the original fragrance, 1000%. She don't need help to begin with. But this on its own, I just don't feel like she she carries. Now, it could be just this scent. I think um, there are some other ones like New York Nights and some of those stronger ones that the, the power is there. But from the packaging, like this packaging is so freaking heavy. Like it feels luxurious. Out of all of them, this one feels the most Fufu la, and I'm just like, oh yes, like look at 
my arm like just feels so supple and like I want to be touched <laughs> in the most appropriate consenting way <laughs> and I really like that one out of all of them this is my favorite feeling one on my skin where like it feels like it, it's, it's not just a lotion you know sometimes when you buy the creams it just like oh this just feel this feel like eucerin girl like what else <laughs> but that one i feel like is worth it if you're really just trying to have a bougie moment now as a caveat i do not use any of these fragrances all over my body no ma'am these cost a little too much for me to just be lathering slathering everywhere i only use these creams on exposed parts of my body so i might throw a little right here depending on how much cleavage i'm showing definitely my arms if i'm showing my legs i'll throw it on there i don't use this as daily hydration absolutely not if you want to know how to get your fragrances to last i'll throw up a video bong bong up top and you can go and see how i do my layering routine but these are strictly just for your fragrances to have a little something to hold on to. So overall, do I think it's worth it? No, but it's nice to have a little extra sprinkle sprinkle when it comes to your fragrances. But if you are somebody on a budget and you just want a little, little sprinkle of some lavishness in your life, definitely go ahead, check them out. I will have everything linked in the description box. Check out some of my other videos and I will catch you in the next one.